It's six o'clock. I'm hopping out of the bed. Rain falling, calling X, but my phone line's dead. I... All right. So dy dx, uh, which we just found, is equal to negative x over three y squared. And if we plug in the point uh, two one again, x is two and y equals one. So dy dx evaluated at so that, that line, that vertical line, means evaluated at the point two one is going to be equal to negative, and we'll plug in a two for the x spot and a one for the y spot. Okay, so that's gonna be a negative two over three. Okay, so this is the second part of our answer for that problem. All right, now we're going to derive with respect to x, uh, the following equation, sine of x plus y is equal to x plus cosine y. So this one looks a little bit different than the problems we've done so far because it does involve some trig. Uh, but we're basically going to go through the same exact steps. Okay, so the first step, of course, is going to be uh, ddxing both sides. So we have ddx of sine of x plus y. Okay, and that's on the left side. And then on the right side, we have ddx of x plus cosine y. All right? Uh, so on the left side here, we have um, a chain rule going on, right? Because we have this outside function, which is a sine, and the inside function, which is an x plus y. All right, so the derivative of the outside function with respect to x is basically going to be a cosine. Then we just keep the inside the same, right? The inner function just stays there. And then we have to, according to the chain rule, take the derivative, in this case with respect to x, of the inside function. So that would be our x plus y. And this is going to be equal to d dx, d dx of x plus d dx of cosine y, okay? And then the left side, that's going to become a cosine x plus y. That's just there out in front. And then we have times d dx um, of x is going to be simply a 1, right? So that'll be a 1. Um, so I'll just write, I'll just split this up just for uh, x explanation sake. Um, so plus a d dx of y. Okay, there we go. I split it up. And then here on the right side, we can work on this. So um, the derivative of x with respect to x is just going to be a 1. And then on the right side we have, um, so now we'll have the derivative of, with respect to x of cosine y. So here we have a disparity between that x and the y, right? So we're going to differentiate with respect to y first. Okay, so we can actually do something with that y term. And then we have left over the dy dx there. Okay, so continuing we have cosine x plus y. And then derivative of x with respect to x is again just a 1. Okay, and then... The derivative of y with respect to x is going to be derivative with respect to y of that y, and then we have to throw in that extra dy dx term. So this is, this is going to be equal to 1, uh, so that's a 1, and then the derivative of cosine y with respect to y is now going to be a, a negative sine y, right? So negative sine y, that's a really weird y, hold on here, sine y, uh, times dy dx on the right side. Okay, so now that we have um, that, we're just going to continue this on the next slide. So I'll, I'll just copy down what we left off with. So cosine x plus y, uh, and then we have the times 1 plus uh, dy dx. dy dx, well, that was actually, hold on, I'll go back here. So we had uh, d dy of y times the dy dx, so that was on the left side there, and then on the right side we had a 1 minus sine y dy dx, okay? And then on the left side um, we can simplify a little bit more, so cosine x plus y times 1, uh, and then our dy, ddy of y is simply going to be a 1, right? If we're differentiating y, the term y, with respect to y, that'll just be a 1, and then we have our dy dx there is equal to 1 minus sine y dy dx. So we've basically differentiated everything that we can, and now we just want to get dy dx by itself. Uh, so I'm going to start by distributing this cosine x plus y into each of these terms. So we get cosine x plus y, and then we have that added to uh, cosine x plus y times dy dx. So this is on the left side, and then on the right side we have our 1 minus sine y dy dx. Okay, so at this point I just want to um, kind of move things around. We'll get all the dy's to the left side. dy dx is to the left side. So we're going to add sine y dy dx. Okay, we're going to add a sine y 
dy dx to both sides. And then I want to get all the constant, or the, the non dy dx terms to the right side. So I'm going to subtract this cosine x plus y over to the right side. Subtract this cosine x plus y over to the right side. So here we have the sine y's cancel dy dx, and then these ones cancel. So on the left side, we are left with cosine x plus y uh, dy dx plus a sine of y dy dx. And on the right side, uh, what we have is a 1 and then minus a cosine x plus y. All right, so we're almost done. Um, I'll, co I'll copy down this last line here on the next slide. All right. So we have cosine x plus y times dy dx, and this is added to sine y dy dx, and uh, this is going to be equal to 1 minus cosine x plus y. So one of the last steps we're going to do is factor out this dy dx, so we're going to pull that out of both terms. Okay, so we're left with a uh, cosine x plus y plus a sine of y, okay? And then this, again, uh, we're just going to keep copying down the right side, so 1 minus cosine x plus y. So finally, to get this dy dx by itself, we're going to divide on both sides by uh, cosine x plus y plus sine y. And the same thing on the right side, cosine x plus y plus sine y. Okay, so now we're done, and I'll just write it uh, in a nice fashion. So dy dx is going to be equal to... 1 minus cosine of x plus y, and this is all over a cosine x plus y, uh, and then plus a sine y. All right, so this is the first derivative uh, with respect to x. Sometimes I hate taking trips to the lab. Got my pen and pad, booking instrumentals and smash, catch the bus regardless, trying hard to be an artist.